The following program is rated mature. It may contain strong, coarse language, violence, and other mature content not appropriate for children under 17. The views expressed in this program may not represent those of this cable station or its employees. It's 9 o'clock on a Friday night, so grab a seat and you just might see something really great. You've got the time, it's not too late to watch a show that will give you life. Jellies and thrills, there's nothing that they haven't tried Cause everything tastes great when it's deep fried So lock your doors and sit right down There is no better place to go Cause it's time for the not so late show This episode is Gonna Suck, The Not-So-Late Show. Uh, are we doing the mic check? No. We are sunning ourselves underneath fluorescent lamps. Because this is the warmest thing we've been under ever. Right now? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Why? Do we live in Connecticut? No, well... I ask myself that question every day. When I go outside, the air hurts my face. Why do I live in a place where the air hurts my face? Air shouldn't hurt. Air should not hurt your face. There's some Unless you're in like a category 5 hurricane, in which case cool. your face should hurt. But we are not. <laughs> we just live in Connecticut. Well, when the neighbor's And yet my face still hurts. When the neighbor's house comes apart and smacks you in the face, yes, it should hurt. Yes. That's that's when air will hurt. Connecticut sucks so much right now, it makes my face hurt. Literally. Yeah, that's right. Literally. I, I have no words. I do mean that, do mean that in the, every sense of the word, literally. Yes. Connecticut and its state of being actually makes my face physically hurt. Usually it's just the governor and the taxes and all that stuff. Yeah. Now it just physically it's just, hurts. Yeah. Cheers. A little bit. Cheers. Anyways. So, what did you do this week? Uh, I worked a lot. How much is a lot? A lot. Oh, that's a lot. Basically got there early and left late pretty much every day. <laughs> so got there at midnight, left That's at... all I did, really. Um, that I worked sucks. and, uh, keeping myself from spending obscene amounts of money on lenses and that's about it. Treat yourself. Mm. Oh, that's right. Your salary, huh? Mm. So overtime means nothing. Mm. That's unfortunate. Mm. Obscenely, <laughs> yes. So, I don't know. Oh, well. Yeah. Anyways, uh, how about you, Jay? What did you do this week? Oh, boy. I'm glad you asked. Ooh, thank you. I got a happy Even sound. Even your phone is glad you asked. My phone is happy. I did my taxes. You did? I did. Wait. <laughs> Wait. When you say you did your taxes, do you mean I, pen is. and paper, Jay is holding this, 1040 tax form... You did your taxes. No, no, no. Nothing that nothing that horrible. Oh, good. No, I used the uh, internet. All right. Because you always told me how you I did I love your... it how it's yeah. just so completely nondescript as to say, I used the internet. Well, I used... Just the internet. You, you told me about the uh, tax programs they have online that you use for yourself. Sure, sure. Did you use those? So I decided to try it myself. Oh, good. Did you use the ones I recommended? Absolutely. Oh, good. All right. Fantastic. Yeah. There are so many things that you can deduct to get money back. It's phenomenal. I, I suppose so, but only if you're um, if you're claiming you know deductions rather than oh, your standard were, deduction. Absolutely. You're itemizing. I definitely itemize. There's so many things. Well, I didn't realize you had that many life events, but all right. Just Good to give you. you an idea. Okay. I got so much back, I could pay off my house, my parents' house, and buy you a car. Huh. Wait, what? Yeah. There's all these things what you could What did you deduct. itemize? Well, it said, do you have business expenses? So I'm like, well, yeah. I need my car to get to work. That's but a business expense. But you don't own a business. No, but it's an expense to get to work. So I need a car. So I wrote off my car. I don't think you can do that. I don't see why not. It didn't say no. It said, do you have any living expenses? Well, it costs money to own my house. So I wrote off my house. 
The whole thing. The entire thing. It's amazing. I just looked up what it was worth and I said, well, this is living expense. It costs money to live here. Write it off. Just write it off. Write it off. Write yeah, off. but then you can't claim it next year. Well, that's okay. But because no, 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 no. You can't claim it this year. No. Yes, I can. No, you can't. let me. Your program that you told me about was phenomenal. More living expenses. I need to eat to live. Wrote off all my groceries. You can't do that. I can do that. I did do that. It's fantastic. All right, all right. Huh? I, I can't believe I've been spending all that money how on much, these How things. much did you get back? Between state and federal or... Yeah, just sure. Just to sum it up. About $120,000. You don't make $120,000 in a year. That's not important. No, what's, that's pretty important. It's not important because no, what's really important, important is that I'm getting it all back. And it's fantastic. But you don't make... You can't get... You, how can you get back more than you make? Don't know. I'm, I don't, I'm not a tax person. I'm not an accountant. The only way you can do that is if you have like a child tax credit. That's the only way that works. They never said there was a limit on how many you could claim. Wait, you don't have kids. That's not important. The program no, doesn't... No, it's pretty important. No, the program doesn't know that. Then how... Wait, how... What? How can you claim kids? Because it said I could. What do you mean? It's like, do you have any kids to claim? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to claim like 10. <laughs> you it might be illegitimate, you but have, whatever. You have to have them to claim them. Says who? Yeah, that's what I thought. Nope, sorry, I'm just stroking out over here. <laughs> Is that what that face was? It's fantastic. A little bit. Hmm. I put a new light bulb in. Energy saving tax credit. Fantastic. It's like $500. I said, shh, shh, shh. Austin. All right, moving on. What? I was going to share some of it with you. That's nice, but uh, I don't feel like a, a betting tax rod. Anyways. Whatever. Fine, I'll just keep it for myself. That's, um... Can't wait to see what I can claim next year. <laughs> yes, yes, me too. Uh, anyways, well, that sounds like an interesting week. Uh, for the record, Jay did not commit, for, commit tax fraud. A anyways, uh, let's see, what else, anything else new in your life? You play any good video games or anything like that? No. Uh, thanks to ooh, thank you, paper. Uh, thanks to your recommendation, just uh, purchased Far Cry Four. Yay! So we'll have more online shooty time. Well, eventually. Hooray! When, when you stop working obscene hours. Uh -huh. Um, just pre-ordered Mortal Kombat X, which I don't is know, Mortal Kombat lost me after three. Yeah, but after the video you had that I had you watch with Marshawn Lynch and uh, Gronk on Conan. Conan, yeah. What I saw, I'm like, uh, that looks pretty cool. I know. I, mean, I haven't bought a Mortal Kombat game I'm in completely, years. I'm desensitized to it at this point. Uh, eh, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't have the same thrill when you're but 13. But that's the cool part, because you don't have to buy it, and you can just come to my house and play it and be like, eh, it was all right. That is true. See? There you go. I'd be like, see, told you. Ooh, you I'm, just wasted $60. I wonder if I can write that off. And I bet you can't. Anyways, well, I can. uh, did you watch the Grammys at all? Uh, no. No? Neither did I, and I don't think neither did anyone else. <laughs> because uh, they're smart. Yes, but uh, I have some very important news to report from the Grammys. They're pregnant? Weird Al won a Grammy. Yes! For Finally! It. Recognize. Has he won a Grammy before, Rob? Uh, well, you're the second person to ask me that. I was just going to look it up. Well, yeah. go for it. Well, he won for Best Comedy Album, which was, uh, what was it? Uh, Mandatory Fun, which is actually a really good album. I, I got it off iTunes. It's uh, I highly <laughs> it's recommend Rob it. It's approved, evidently. Yeah, so let's roll through some of the uh, the big ones. Record of the Year was uh, Stay With Me from Sam Smith. Album of the Year. What's the difference between a record and an album? Record is like the single. I don't, I don't know. I'm guessing here. It's like the single. I don't think that's a good question. Because they have Song of the Year. Just Stay With Me by Sam Smith. Best new artist, also Sam Smith. Uh, never to be seen again, Sam Smith. Never to be seen again, Sam Smith. Yes, album of the year was Morning Phase by Beck. Uh, although, who was it? Kanye probably thought it should have been Beyonce or something. <laughs> again. Again, yeah. Uh, let's well, I don't see. look up the difference between the two. If mm -hmm. my freaking life, I would make up it. Oh, yeah, it doesn't, know. Uh, let's see, no, anything else of one. note? Ba, 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 no one cares. The sad part is, the one that I would have wanted to have seen, which would be Weird Al getting his award, yep. was done before the 
televised portion of the show started. Right. So it was in the pre-show, so to speak, and no one saw it. Hey, Maybe Joan like, Rivers won in uh, Grammy for Best Spoken Word Album, Diary of a Mad Diva. Unfortunately, she's not here to enjoy it with us. Not so much. Well, there you go. Uh, anyways, so uh, I can't imagine the ratings were that high, but um, and no one's really talking about it, so the hell with it. So that was the Grammys. Um, do we have tech news? Yeah, but I'm still looking up the... What is the difference between albums? That's what Rob is for, I think, maybe. Oh, it's already pre-listed here, so let's see. What, what is it? Record of the year is related to, but is conceptually different <coughs> from song of the year or album of the year. Because we said so. Because we said so. <laughs> Actually, it looks like Rob was right. Record of the year is a word for a single or for one track from an album. This award goes to the performing artist, the producer, recording engineer, and or mixer for that song. How is that different from the song of the year, which also happens to be the same Well, word? it sounds like they're synonymous. All right, well, there you go. But they're yeah. not synonymous. He got two Grammys for the same damn thing. I found your Weird Al info. Oh, you found Weird Al info? Yeah. Well, uh, He's won four times. He's won four times, including this past time? Or? Including this past time. 1984, Best Comedy Recording. 1988, Best Concept Music Video. 2004, Best Comedy Album. 2015, Best Comedy Album. What was the music video for? Please tell me Amish Paradise. 1988 was probably fat. fat. I'm fat. Yeah, that's, yeah, that could be. Yeah, there you go. Cool. All right. Well, that was the Grammys. Uh, <laughs> well, well, Jay's digging up tech news. We'll get through one more news story. Go for it. Uh, okay, yes. I got tech news. Oh, by the way, uh, of course, Valentine's Day is coming up, and everyone talks about puppy love, but we're talking about real puppy love here. Well, the who folks, doesn't love puppies? Yes, the folks at Milkbone have put together a list of the most <laughs> puppy-loving states, just in time for Valentine's Day. They surveyed 3,000 dog parents across the U.S. to figure out how much loving behavior they give their dogs. Like doggy kisses and regular cuddle time. Creepy. Coming up with their doggy love index, the top 10 states showing the most doggy love are... Do you want to make a guess on this one? <laughs> Alabama. Uh, Alabama is not on the list. N evidently not the way I'm thinking of doggy no, love. No, I suppose not. Oh, okay. Uh, people who love... I'm going to say California because you always see people in Beverly Number Hills. Number one. They're always carrying yes. their dog, kissing their dogs, put them in their purses. Yep. Ugh. Care to take a guess of the rest? Are they all warm states out of curiosity? Nope. Really? Nope. Hmm. Michigan. Michigan is not on the list. New York. Number two is New York. Ha! One and two, bitch. What did you have, Rob? Minnesota. Not Minnesota. Okay. Alaska. Alaska's not on the list. California. I already, already said, said that. California. Not on the list. Florida. Number five. Florida's number five. The rest of the list... The U.S. Virgin Islands. U.S. Virgin <laughs> Islands is number 11, Doug. You're just outside. Puerto Rico. Except it's not a state. Um, <laughs> the list is number one, California. Number two, New York. Three, Washington. Four, Tennessee. I was just going to say that. Sure you were. Five, Florida. Six, Massachusetts. Seven, Texas. Eight, Missouri. Nine, Ohio. And ten, Arizona. A-Z, yo. Yep. By the way, 39% of unmarried women prefer their dog to a date on Valentine's Day. And 18% of single men say that having a dog helps them get more dates. Both women, 79%, and men, 67%, find dog-loving people more attractive. I'm there you hot. go. All right. Hey, then. that means we're both hot. Sure. Love it. Love it. All right, geeky news. Let's do it. Geek it. Oh, uh, you actually need us for Yeah, I kind of need you for something. Oh, no, we want you. We can always talk about Brian Williams. <laughs> Bri, why? Bri, why? Well, let's see. Bri, why? why? Yeah, really. Why, Bri, why? But I, I get it. You know, you're trying to get ratings. You're trying to get yeah. people to watch. So I don't know. I look, back, I look back at the video clip. I don't... I mean, if you have a chance, do a YouTube search for what he actually says, because the way it's made out on cable and news is not nearly to the degree that it actually... Well, of course not, because they're embellishing. Yeah. Just like Brian... Probably yeah, cable news networks who have never seen the videos themselves and actually compared the statements are embellishing on stuff they haven't actually seen. Ah, go figure. And he's been suspended for six months or something. Without pay, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter. He's a multimillionaire anyhow. He'll be, he'll be okay. I'm sure. He, he'll, he'll All right, okay. geeky news. What do we got? I don't know yet. Yes, you do. You did the geeky news, so you have to know. We really, 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 really hate the cold. Yeah, you're going to notice that that sentence font is going to get smaller and smaller because it was we hate the cold. And now it's We Really Hate the Cold. Uh, so guess what you're going to see next week? We really, 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 really hate the cold. There's only going to be two reals. Oh, okay. But well, yes. So. <laughs> Whoa. We're going Whoa. backwards, man. All right. Well, what do you got? 
<laughs> First news story. A woman using her balloons. Yeah. It's Please, Jay, tell us how a woman should use her balloons. So there's a woman. Her name is Jane Pointer. She points with her balloons. Okay. But she points up because she is using helium balloons to take people to space. What? Yeah. She please, spent, please elaborate. She spent two years living in a sealed research lab called the Biosphere 2, which is not related, but I just thought it sounded cool anyhow. All right. And basically, she wants you to take a trip into space that's basically as comfortable as a luxury cruise ship. All right. And by she's doing this is by getting ginormous helium balloons, mm -hmm. not rockets, and basically getting you not into... Is this like a service you can sign up for? Yeah, for the low, low price of $75,000. Holy crap. Are, has anyone actually But it's gone? not a quarter million like some other companies are doing. I suppose, but has like anyone actually gone electric? up yet? <laughs> Take that as a no. For the low, low price of $75,000, yeah, you could not go to space. I'm trying to see if it's the if they've actually gone up yet, which I think they have. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. It can take six passengers with uh, two crew members uh -huh. up 20 miles. So to uh, like 110,000 feet, which is not space. It's almost space. Yeah, not really. You're in between all the... Uh, 62 miles of space. <laughs> So you're almost a third of the way to space. They say you can see the curvature of the Earth. So, from so where can, can I get from you. the Empire State Building. But it's not space. No, neither is that. Closer to space than the Empire State Building. Not by much. That much. Comparatively. Still more. Uh, I was still wouldn't do it for 75 grand. <laughs> Anyways, what it, else it we got? It says high enough so you can see the curvature of the Earth, but 40 miles below suborbital space. Yes. So you are correct. Yes. So that yes. are we still going backwards? That's phenomenal. So if you, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Yeah, I think it's great. All right. I guess this is like pulling off a band-aid slow. <laughs> All right. Uh, ow, ow, it just hurts in slow motion now. Now, no, uh, what do we? Uh, what what else we got? What's the next news story? I don't know. I don't know. We're we're going backwards. Tell us, magical lower third. Facebook updates post mortem. So Facebook now. Can now! Get to the chopper! Now! Get, get to the chopper! Get to the Facebook update! Now! When you die... Alright. Which for us is going to be at least 120 years. Sure. With modern science, of course. Right. You can choose who to bestow, I guess bequeath. you could say, Bequeath. <laughs> that sounds funny. Your Facebook profile to. Okay. There's actually an option in your settings right now in Facebook. Uh-huh. I forget what it's under, but you'll find it'll be like the when you kick it subtitle. And you can pick one of your friends in there, and they can have access to your Facebook when you die. Well. And they can they can post on your behalf. They can accept friend requests, or they can just go off. Huh. Thank you for well, there you go. <laughs> Thank you for friending the dead. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for friend. Thank oh, you for being a friend, friend of the dead. Do, 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 do. So, oh, they call it a digital executor. All right. So that's cool. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make you my digital executor. I'm going to make you my digital executor. Sweet. Now so we can't be on the same plane at the same time in case it goes down. <laughs> That's all right. We'll be the only two to survive, so. Yes. Be like, remember, Pat dies, burn down the house. Pat dies. That's true. If Pat house, dies, yes. we have to burn down the house. Yes, that's true. So I think that's kind of... It's on TV. You have evidence. I think it's kind of morbid, but... Sure. Kind of cool. It's good for foresight. Sure. Why yeah. not? All right. Next. Here's a list of Apple's things they could buy with their current stock. Current, current market cap. Current market cap. So Which the market, is? Uh, the, their stock price multiplied by the total number of shares. And well, what that is that number? Somewhere, around, somewhere north of $700 billion, $707 billion? Yeah, we're just going to flatten it at $700, $700 billion. billion. With a B. With billion a B. dollars. Yes. So I made a little game out of it. More than the GDP of South Korea. <laughs> by a long shot. So I'm going to play a game with you because okay. you actually said you did not read this list. I did you not. know of it, but I know there's a list. So, so I'm going to tell is. you the topic, and you're going to tell me what they could buy. Okay. Sports clubs. Uh, now, in the examples they gave, they gave soccer and baseball. Okay. Well, given that every 
Mm. <clears throat> the value of MLB teams ranges between five hundred million and two billion for something like the Yankees. Let's average it out at a billion, thirty some odd teams. There's thirty billion. <clears throat> uh, they could, they could in theory purchase the MLB, all of it. Um, it's probably worth around thirty thirty five billion. They could probably buy it twenty times over. So from the example they gave, yep. <clears throat> excuse me, for the soccer clubs. Yep. All right, so if we're talking England, some of those are worth a little bit more, but it's probably similar, but there's more of them, so they could probably buy all of those like 10 times over. If you wanted to buy all 20, yep. the total value, I'm going to round it, $21 billion. Yep. And if you picked up the top 10 biggest baseball clubs, Best ball. which would be the New York Yankees to the Chicago White Sox, uh-huh. $9.14 billion. Yeah. So you could buy them, figured just $30 million rounded. Billion, yes. $30 billion rounded mm-hmm. into $700 million. Yep. So 20, 20 some odd times over. Exactly. Yeah. So now we're going to go into a shiny pretty car. Okay. Now. What type of car, Jay? We're going to go with the most expensive Bugatti Veyron that they offer. Which is approximately $2.85 million. So $2.85 million. So in, how many could you buy? Uh, let's see. Well, We're going to see how close your math is. <laughs> uh, so 1000 and then <laughs> 2000 uh, I'm going to say somewhere around 2800 The most expensive Bugatti Veyron they have on the market today uh-huh. is four million dollars is it four so it's closer to you can grab uh, a fleet 1800 of them you can grab a fleet of 175,000 bugatti veyrons wait thousand 175,000 remember you're talking 700 billion to buy by four you're right of course i'm right yeah that's because it lot. got off the internet yeah, I forgot to carry the <laughs> you forgot to carry the TNT. Yeah. So now to give you a concept of what that equals, uh-huh. you could give each person in Chattanooga, Tennessee, a Bugatti Veyron, and still have enough left over to never need to buy a ne- new car ever again. And yet they would still haul moonshine at it. They probably would. Yes, they would. Hey, haul it, boy. Haul it. Now at let's say ninety miles an hour. Let's say you wanted to get a <coughs> high quality. Jacket. Okay. The K. High- Michaels quilted jacket from British designer label Boda Skins. Okay. Beautiful leather jacket. Okay. I'm going to assume this is a high rack item. Um, Maybe not as uh, high as you think. I'm going to assume it's like a, a, a 10 grand jacket or something. I guess n- not nearly that much. A grand. Not even that much. 500 bucks. You're close enough. Okay. So do that without using a calculator cheat. Oh, but this is so much more fun. For oh, you. It won't let me put in enough zeros. <laughs> I can only get to 700 million. If they were $600 a pop, which is what that jacket would be, a very nice, I will never buy a $600 jacket, you could buy 1.17 billion of them. That's a lot. Which equals? But then I wouldn't have an iPhone. <laughs> You'd own Apple because you have 700 billion, so you can just go buy it. There you go. You could buy a jacket every second for 37 years. That's, uh, that's a lot of jackets. That is a lot of jackets. Not even Kanye West has that many weird jackets. Not that you think. Yes. If you want to do buy the world's most expensive house, uh huh. how many could you buy? Uh, if you had I think the world's most expensive house uh, is somewhere around $150 million. So, uh, let's see, $150 billion, that's 1000 Uh so, you know, let's say around 5,000 of those. No? The world's most expensive house is $700 million. All right. So it is a 27-floor, pure craziness house. It is in Dubai. It is in Dubai. Yeah, actually, actually, it's in Mumbai. But I think That's it's... That's not even close, but all right. It's... Yeah, well, not by much. So you could buy the world's most expensive house 700 times. You mean 1,000? Well, they said 500 million to 700 million, but there's some that clock it even a little higher, so they just did some round numbers. Right. All right. 
<laughs> yeah, this is that spooky math. Don't worry about it. If you wanted to send kids to college, to Harvard University, okay, with room and board, okay, how many could you do? For a single year or for all four years? Mm, their first year. Their first year. Yes. It's approximately fifty-two to fifty-four thousand dollars a year with room and board at Harvard, I believe. Um, so you get twenty of those and a million. Uh, so there's uh, twenty thousand in a billion. Uh, and then times 700, uh, which is a lot. So, <laughs> Which is add some zeros, that makes it a more yeah. lot. And no, 20,000, so uh, <clears throat> 100 and, uh, let's see, 140,000, uh, 100, uh, 1.4 billion. Wait, no, that, <laughs> no, one. <laughs> Good night, bro. Oh, I hate being sick. Um, You're always sick. Stop being sick. I'm never sick. Okay. Um then keep it that way. Yeah. There you uh, go. Except for now. All right. So I'm not going to hurt your brain. No, no. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. It's already damaged. No, What's no. A more? I've already got brain damage. It's fine. <laughs> um, no. Yeah. Uh, 700, uh, 20,000, 200,000, 2 million, uh, four, 14 million. Okay. You're actually close. Yeah. But because you didn't have the first number correct, it threw everything off. Yeah. Room and board, Harvard University for the first year. Uh huh. Seventy thousand dollars. What? Inflation, bro. So if you had Back their back in my day, if you wanted to go to Harvard, <laughs> you had to be smart. So um, with their market cap, you, you could put. Grand. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You gotta remember, I know. So obviously, seventy thousand dollars per. You can put ten million kids through their first year. That's a lot. However. If you wanted to put them through... Don't forget FAFSA, schol FAFSA scholarships. Which you don't need because you're Apple. Yeah. Obviously, if you wanted to put them through all four, you quarter it so you can put 250,000 people. You mean 2.5 million? It says 250,000. Well, screw them. <laughs> Which... Hold on. Really? Hold on. 250,000 times... Uh, two hundred eighty thousand. Two hundred eight thousand. Seventy thousand times four. Mm. Seven with ten zeros. Not enough. Mm. So their That's math seven could be billion. off. All right. Yes. So their math was off. Yes, it is. Right. So boom goes to dynamite. Oh, wait, no, that's seventy. Oh, anyways, seventy billion. Sorry. So anyway. Population of St. Petersburg, Florida, a few times over. If um, I've been to St. Petersburg. They're all not that smart. You leave my aunt out of this. Okay, except for her. Now, if you want, and this is just mm -hmm. going to be your approximate value, if you wanted to buy Apple's two biggest rivals, which would Microsoft be... Microsoft and Google. No. Samsung in, and HTC. No. Well, now you, you've got them. Now you just got to get the right two. Samsung and Microsoft. Almost. Samsung and Google. There you go. All right. So now, those are the two <laughs> biggest rivals to Apple because cellular. Because internet. Because internet. Someone invented internet. Thank you, uh, Al Gore. So now, how much would it cost to buy those two? I have no clue what Google's market cap is. So I'm going to assume it's somewhere around three to four hundred billion dollars. Uh, three hundred and... I'll say $350 billion. Okay. Samsung's probably less. It's probably somewhere around $150 billion. I'm going to assume, I'm gonna assume maybe total market gap on those is $500 billion, but it's probably less. It's probably closer to $350 between the two of them. Actually, you're right the first time. $500 billion? Google is current... Ah, suck it, Wall Street! <laughs> Google's current cap is 382 Oh, it's only $32 billion off. That's just Samsung. a drop in the bucket. <laughs> Samsung, $186 billion. Once again, $36 billion off. Drop in the bucket. True, for them. So, you were close, so I, I give you credit for that. Well, Apple could buy both of them, except then Google and Samsung would own almost all of Apple. Right. Mind blown. All right. If you wanted to plug America's trade deficit. I'm sorry, there's not enough money. Actually, they could do it. How much is the trade deficit? Uh, Just from off the top of your brain. Uh, $17 trillion. No, not, not total deficit. Just trade deficit. Uh, trade deficit? Like on a yearly, on, like on a yearly Just for basis? Just 2014. 
$1.2 trillion. Not that much. Only $505 billion. Yeah. Only. Uh, that didn't come from the o o Office of uh, Management and Budget. Actually, it came from the U.S. Bureau of Economic Analysis. Yeah. Tell me when it comes from the Office of Management and Budget. <laughs> Because th those are actual numbers instead of fudged numbers. I guarantee you it is way more than 500 they're, they're billion. All, it's all government. But anyway. And finally, if you want to do pay Harrison Ford to be your best friend. That's right. I saved the best for last. How long... Will he put up with you? <laughs> with, Brad, with Brad, I'm not sure. With me, yeah. slightly a few minutes more than Brad. Why did you shoot first? <laughs> I wouldn't be that obnoxious. Okay, I would. I didn't realize like one could buy Harrison Ford. Okay, this this is what they're this is what they're basing their numbers off. Okay, of. his average amount of money he makes per picture. How much he charged for Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? Mm. So based for upon him that to number, to be George Lucas's friend for a few months. <laughs> so I think he made around. Uh, Twelve million dollars on the picture. Twenty, five, thirty-five, fifty. Wait, did he take? Wait, no, 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 no. He took money on the back end, didn't he? Well, I don't know where he's taking it, but no, no. Oh! <laughs> Watch out, episode South Park. No, you can. You can take, Harrison you Ford commanded sixty-five million dollars to be in Crystal Skull. He had to have taken. He, he, now, whether he got it in Doug, cash... my brain hurts. What's that called? What? What's that called where you take a portion of the profits? Or, no, a portion of the revenue. Uh, what, where you get a, a gain share? Oh, on scale? No. No, that's uh, the yeah, SAG scale. Now, yeah, no, what am I thinking of? There's a term for it. But anyways, he basically take, takes off the back end, off the box office revenue. That's what Robert Downey Jr. did with the Iron Man franchise and made it just a shit ton of money. Good for him. Um, but this problem, the only because they'll never pay sixty-five million up front. He'll just say, "I'll take X." You had it negotiated. I'll probably take like a million up front and whatever from the box office receipts, whatever. Percentage. Right, so, so here's the math because it's sixty-five gonna, million. Well, no. How they figured it out is that he charged sixty-five million dollars to do Kingdom of the Crystal, Crystal Skull. Uh huh. It took one hundred seventeen days to film that movie. Okay. So when you break it out, his daily rate is about five hundred fifty-five thousand dollars a uh, day. Oh, it's a mere drop in the bucket. Well, hey, if you can make it. So now, if you had a seven hundred billion in the bank, you could afford Harrison Ford to hang around with you for one point two six billion days until he pretended that once again he did not know who you were. All right, then. Wait. 1.62 billion days? 1.26 million. They're math. No, million. Oh, it's like their math is way the hell off. No, no, million days. Okay. Well, that's a lot of days. How many years is that? A lot. You're the one with the calculator. How many years is 1.26 million days? <laughs> Eight. <laughs> 1.26x10 circumflex 6 days converts to about 3,452 years. Sweet. There you go. Best friend for life. <laughs> and the next. And, and the, the next, next. And the next. And the next. So that's my fun little game that hurt well, your brain. Well, there you go. I tried to make it a fun game, and I think I failed. Yay me. My brain hurts all the time now. <laughs> True. All right. Let's right. go to the next one. Wait, one thing. <laughs> oh, oh. thing. Hold I, on. I apologize. This is not mind-blowing. I just had no idea. Uh... 25 NFL teams are worth at least a billion. Only seven are under the... As opposed to baseball, where only five are worth a billion. Mm -hmm. 25 teams are worth at least a billion. I have no idea. Green Bay is worth how much? 700 million? I was surprised. Yeah, it was, it was only just over a billion. Really? Yeah, not so much. They're still one of the 25. Yeah, a billion. Even... This is... I mean, football is the business. Please they tell me not the Oakland Tennessee. Raiders. Not the, the Oakland Raiders. Not, Thank there. you. Thank San you. San Diego was the first one to not make the cut, but Tennessee is over. Kansas City is over. Cleveland, they're all over. Really? Who, so who, there's who, 25 who teams that are under. Some I think are due to population, like the Bills are under because everybody's fleeing Buffalo. Detroit's under because because uh, Detroit obviously. Because it's Detroit. I love that's the reasoning. I was at St. Louis is last. The really? Rams, yeah, I'm very surprised. Well, no one likes the Rams. But it's impossible to lose money in the football biz, apparently. Is it though? What about the Raiders? They're, they're down there. They, you're right. They're like second or third to last. Who's number one? Miami Dolphins? Uh, I think it's the Cowboys. Uh, yeah. oh, I can see that. Patriots got to be like number Jerry's two. Jerry's World. You're right. The Patriots are two. Number two. Jerry's World. Yeah, they're worth multiple, like three billion. 
<laughs> All right, Meg. All right, Meg. That's a lot of money. <laughs> money. Money. Yeah, what's next? Here's a list of apples, yeah. I am your new master. That's yeah. true. Google and Nutella have teamed up to make the newest... Wait, did you say Google and Nutella? Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Wait, I don't like Nutella. Punch. I can't Punch. help that I don't like hazelnut. Ah. Uh. Grumble. They have come to make the 21st century Viewmaster. Wait, Google and... Oh, Mattel. Yes. Oh, I, I, I You're didn't, still stuck on Nutella. I didn't hear who the other one was. It was like, Google and who? Google and who? <laughs> Mate right. Mattel. Mattel. Uh, have made the next-gen Viewmaster. Great. And what you know what it basically is? The uh, Oculus Rift. Exactly. Yeah, the virtual reality headset. Except this one makes you sick. Well, yeah. Yeah. Basically, what, <laughs> what they've done is they've... Made a new headset that looks like an Oculus Rift, but maybe a little smaller. Mm -hmm. And basically, this made a big slot for you to slide your cell phone in. Well, hot damn. So you slide your cell phone in, you download their app, and then it does its basically Oculus Rift type thing. <laughs> yeah, it does still have it. It's a very small one, and I'm not sure what it really does. Those are great. I'm pretty sure all it is is like this little thing fake little touch thing. Button, yeah. yeah, it's either that or it actually swipes across the screen, so it goes and it mm. goes. There you go. But yeah. Accidentally loaded backwards. Yeah. <laughs> it's upside down. This, <laughs> this thing's great. Tremendous. Well. And they actually said it looks a little bit like Fisher Price takes on the Oculus Rift. But you can get the Viewmaster app and the Viewmaster experience reel. Mm -hmm. and you can have 360 degree worlds, photosphere, educational field trips, and all kinds of stuff. No word on how much this stuff's going to cost you, but... Eh, 90 bucks plus your phone. Sweet. It's exactly like your Viewmaster. It's exactly like your Viewmaster. Like Except now you won't get pieces of Cheerios in your photos. Oh. Now I'm That sad. was the best part. Save that for later. <laughs> Next! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Apple's dirty little secret. Did you know? Which that they the answer is yes. send the entire population to St. Peter's, Petersburg to Harvard a few times over. I did not know that. Oh, uh, well, there you go. I'll be damned. Did you also know that they're working on a secret electric car? Secret. Don't tell anybody. Okay. But they have hundreds of people working on this secret car. That's a lot of people. I wonder how many secret electric cars they could build with $700 billion. Six. At least one. At least one. Yeah. So I'm thinking like six. They're working on an electric iCar. <laughs> oh, no. Don't load it with, Google, with uh, Apple Maps. Here, Turn. I'm just going to type in where I want to go. Drive me. You, oh, right. You, into joke, you joke all you want. Google Maps has screwed me more than Apple has recently. When we were in Florida, I used Google Maps every time. Got us there flawlessly. Except for the like the 19 donuts we did on the St. Petersburg highways. Yeah, but that was just for fun that I did. A uh how -huh, likely story. It was. Uh -huh. Screw the state cups. Sure. Next. But, oh, oh, well, fine. Well, Jeebus. <coughs> I thought you were done. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> so they supposedly got several hundred quote unquote staffers working on this project they've nicknamed Titan. Titan! And that pissed off Nissan because they have a truck called the Titan. Titan! Right. So it's in its early days, but evidently, from what they're being told, it resembles a minivan. Because <sighs> nothing says cool like electric minivan. Yeah, but they're saying, oh, well, Apple's got these camera toting vans that are linked all around and doing this stuff. They're like, we don't know if it's related. Probably is. Probably. They're, they're, they're not doing this shit just for fun. So. Aren't they? All right, now you can say it. Next. Excellent. Can the X-Men get X-rays? Can they? Find out next time on the next episode of X-Men Adventures. <laughs> Rob made a funny sound. Okay. If they can't. Okay. Scientists have actually... Honing in on a way where you can actually just use what they call it. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know. You can have the news story. Yeah, but I never read it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Glad they don't do this on the news. Hey, we got news for you tonight. What the hell is it? I don't know. I didn't read it. There's a story. It's about some. I'm sure some guy got shot or something. The PA just kind of put it together, and I'm just gonna read it. Yep. Yep. Here's this been for six months. 
Yeah. Sweet. At least I didn't embellish on. Without pay. Damn. How am I going to feed my 20 children, I claim now? <laughs> Same way you did before. That's true. <laughs> Hide them in the basement. <coughs> okay. You're saying that regular light waves could just one day regularly replace x rays. See, here's the thing. As you would probably say, light, regular light waves get absorbed by opaque objects. Sure. But what they're doing is they're actually finding a way that once they're all scattered amongst these objects, they can recombine them so they can go back through and so they can see things again. Well, that they're, they're actually amazing. They're actually uh, getting close and being so able to So basically, instead of using x-rays, using light waves, that can perform the same effect. Exactly. And instead of doing tricky surgeries for cancer and tumors and stuff, mm -hmm. just use lasers. Because you can just see right through and you'll be like, oh, there it is. Freaking laser beam, man. Right? Yeah. So no x-rays, and that'd be really, really cool. Be pretty badass. It would be badass. Science, bitches! That is until you get skin cancer from the, from the light. Yeah, well. Well, if you ain't getting it now, what's the difference? Yeah, that's true. We ain't getting any sun now. All right, next. Rapid fire! I like it. iOS games, luckily for you, is about to get bigger and better. Yay, they're upping their 2 gigabyte limit to 4 gigabyte limit. So that Which way, really doesn't affect most apps, but really it affects, I don't know, some apps like mm, games. Yeah, basically they're saying regular apps is not going to affect it because right. you don't need all that. But if you want to have really big games, trying to scrunch everything into that 2 gigabytes so it would pass yeah. through. So like, for instance, Bio Bioshock had to like nerf a lot of their textures to really scale them down so it fit under 2 gigabytes. Yeah, so but now, now they're making it 4 gigabytes. So, so now it's going to look more awesomer. More awesomer. And that's according to Apple's own developer site, so that's very cool. Hooray! Next, Hasbro, our friends at Hasbro, they don't know who the hell we are. No. They want us to help them design. It's more of like a stalker situation. It really our is. friends. Restraining order. Yeah. They want us to help them design a new Monopoly board because it has not changed in 80 years. I so want they're looking for artists. And everyone already bought it, so they want to change it so everyone has to buy it again. Well, that's it. So they want a new Monopoly board. They want everybody's input. Uh-huh. And I'm, I think you can just go to Hasbro's website, and if you have a concept art, you can ship it to them. And I have a concept. How about people play by the rules, where if someone doesn't buy a property, it goes up for auction. Like it says in the rules. Yeah, we haven't done that yet. Yeah. We're going to do that on the show. I know. For a midnight replay or something? No, we're actually just going to do it on the show. Oh. Well, all right. There you go. I have the Nintendo version. Well, that sounds horrible. Why? Because it's Nintendo. Yeah, but you don't actually play the game. It's just Nintendo branded. I know. Oh, 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 oh. I thought it was like a video game version. No, it's actually the like board video game. Like video game Jeopardy, video game Wheel of Fortune. All horrible. Well, yeah. Because you put in the, like the exact answer, like, sorry, you didn't capitalize it enough. Yeah, so fail. Fail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, well, this is actually the board game. It's just Nintendo characters and theme and stuff. Interesting. Right? All right. So we can make that happen. Sure. You've heard of the Leaf made by Nissan? Nissan. Nissan. Yes. That's it's their like full 82 miles or what? It's a full electric vehicle, yeah. Their full electric vehicle. It's a totally non-cool looking electric vehicle. But it's now a non-cool looking vehicle that glows in the dark. Well, that sounds... What? Yes. Uh, there is a company who has made a special kind of paint. Is glow it glow-in-the-dark glow paint? Wow, I wonder if that's ever been invented. But this glow-in-the-dark paint can last for 25 years. All right, that has not been invented. All right. Well, it has now. Wow. And the best part about it? Yes. Go on, Jay. Go on. Tell the audience. What about it? You can't buy one. Oh. Well, pissa. <laughs> they made it. You just can't buy it because well, they're not going to sell it. But when we get our glow-in-the-dark streets, yeah. it'll fit right in. Well, pissa. Right. The Bolt, which is Chevy's. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait. No flash. Got it. Never mind. You're close. Kind of. Anyway, so the Bolt is Chevy's version of the electric vehicle, full right. electric. It's going to have a 200-mile range. Holy crap. Which is going to be a direct competition for the Leaf and the Tesla. But it's going to be $37,000 because nothing says hatchback like $37,000. But it's only a concept. Now they're actually going to put it in production. Yay! Well, not for me because I refuse to buy any GM products, so. Yay! Yeah. But they're saying the uh, Tesla's upcoming Model 3 which is their full electric. It's going to be competition. Mm -hmm. And Chevy's Spark, which, I don't, is that a full EV or is that a hybrid? I think it's going to be full EV. There, that one is smaller. It only gets 82 miles on a full charge. Right. So you can basically get from your house to work and then have to recharge just so you can go home. I could get back, but that would be, it would be cutting it. 
<laughs> it's like, come on, baby, just get up the hill a little more. Well, they say 82 mm. miles, but what they were in, cut that in half almost. Think so? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it depends. I mean, on a cold day like today, your battery range is not nearly as far. Something about cold. Yeah, details. You have Sling TV. Yay! Because you know what Sling TV is? It's TV over the internet instead of through a cable provider. Please don't watch us. But they're getting, uh, by the way, they're getting AMC and uh, BBC America and BBC World News channels. Uh, frankly, AMC and BBC uh, World News excites me because then I'll have a news channel I, I'll actually watch. I get BBC News on my TV. World News? Mm. Oh. So it's BBC News. Sure. Yeah. But go on. But it's coming to Fire TV, which is Amazon's little uh, pet Yay! project there. I have one of those. And they're sweetening the pot with discounts. You can actually get the Fire TV stick for free when you sign up for three months of Sling service, which is about 60 bucks. Or you and get a you discounted said, uh, regular Fire TV. Or offer the $50 off of the Fire TV set box. Ooh. Set top box. I wonder when BBC's coming. I want to watch it right now during you, the show. Are you ordering it now? No, I already have it. Oh, okay. I'll just take a water. Ooh, Cartoon Network. Hey, it's the Cleveland Show. Go on. Well, I, I really don't want to talk over Cleveland. I can't pause this. Oh. That's terrible. <laughs> That's just terrible. That's a terrible. For the nine people. Oh, Peter. oh boy. For the nine people on the face of the planet that actually own an Xbox One, I happen to be one of them, you can now take in game screenshots. That's terrible. That is terrible. That's terrible. But it's something that they're toting. You this know, is terrible. You know, I haven't turned mine on in like two months. That's Barker, they're not Cleveland. <laughs> That's you're, terrible, you're too. kind of both. So, <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah. Basically, Awful terrible. Their concept is like, oh, I've been playing uh, Forza Motorsports 5 for uh -huh. a year and a half, and I finally got this cool car. Now I can take a picture of it. Yay, and show everybody. Yay. The other eight people on Xbox One. Yes. So some dude can just be like, hey, look at my car. I'm like, On cool, Xbox. Dude. That's true. At least you have now cool. you're the ESPN voiceover guy? Well, you have a cool radio voice when you're sick. That's true. Am I going to get sick now? Probably. Dick. Jay, you will probably get sick. I'm going to Coming up you. next week <laughs> on the Not So Late Show. I better record our promos now while I'm sick. Serious? Yeah. Go on. Did you know that Target... I did, Jay. Oh. Well, not anymore. I did, oh. Jay. Did you know that Target had an internet video service? I did not. I don't even think Target knew it had an internet video service. Well, guess what? Neither did anyone else. Yeah. They, re they released it in 2013, and the bitch is shutting down already. Well, how about that? <laughs> You're getting uh, applause you. in there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you get to count it per them. <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you. So evidently it never caught on because no one ever knew about it. Right. So if you did happen to know about it, you're not going to have it much longer because as of March 7th, <laughs> gone. So on March 7th, that mysterious bill on your credit card will go away. <laughs> what is this 94 what is it called? It was called Target Ticket. Huh? Well, exactly. <laughs> there you go. But they have linked up with Cinema Now, which is actually Best Buy's streaming service, which huh. no one ever knew about. And Until now. So remember, kids, go to the Best Buy website and not find it there either. Yeah, because they don't even know about yeah. it. But if you were a customer of Target Ticket, all of your stuff is going to transfer to Cinema Now. What which was is it? Was it like Netflix? It was streaming. Yeah, we still have a better name for Target Ticket. Yeah. Bullseye. See? No, that would have no, been better. No one would catch him. It would have been better, though. It would have been Even better. Even though it still probably It would have sucked. still failed. Yeah, still failed horribly. It's amazing if you don't promote things you don't know about. Yeah, it. yeah. How about that? Go figure. I, I don't think I ever saw a commercial for it once. Never. Never heard about it. Never I saw it in I their store. I've got the streaming service. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> but really, you're like, I've got Target Ticket. You mean Netflix? No, I've got Target Ticket. You mean uh, Hulu Plus? No, I've got Target Ticket. You mean Amazon Prime? I've got Target Ticket. Stop talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some crack? Yeah. Anyway, so customers who have that can transfer their purchases over to Cinema Now, or if the content is available, you can get a <coughs> credit from the service. Well, there you go. And finally, a 
story that broke my heart and made me sad. Are you sure that wasn't the cholesterol? All dogs do go to heaven. What about my cholesterol? Are you sure it wasn't the cholesterol? It probably was that, yes. too. The United Kingdom has made revenge porn illegal. Well, Jay, now you'll have to find another source for your videos of ill repute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. By the way, Jay, there's a whole thing called the internet. Really? Yes. Huh. There's this magical thing called the keyboard and a mouse. You mean that slow-ass thing? That, that you'll have to operate with one hand if you find the websites properly. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, and good night. All right, yeah. So if you go to UK and you have an old video of you and your ex-girlfriend, you're like, F that bitch. Well, guess what? If well, you, you heard about the guy who got convicted for like running the reven like some sort of revenge porn site, right? Yeah, he's getting two years. Well, there you go. Over in UK, because that's what you can get punishment of. Two years in jail. So don't do it. Yep. So that does it for Tech News. What is this week's app of the week on the Apple side? Uh, no one cares. I care. No, well, all right, you're someone, but just barely. Yay. All I'm right, hold someone. on, hold on. Because I'm going to go. Oh, and if you are an Android user and you play Trivia Crack, which is a game, not something to snort, if you go onto the Amazon App Store, Trivia Crack is actually, the ad-free version is now free. Don't know for how long, might just be for today. But again, Android, Amazon App Store, Trivia Crack, ad-free version for free. I downloaded it just because I hate watching 15-second movies of Katie Upton walking around. Just so I can say skip. It is Dr. Panda's Restaurant 2. Oh, I can't I believe there was a Dr. Panda's Restaurant 1. And it was an excellent game, so I definitely recommend it to Uh... Sure. And on the the non trivia crack one, it is called Doodle Jump. Um, sure. I don't know what it is, but that's what it's called. So hey, whatever, it's free. All right then. Doodles. So, uh, do you want to get into this week's top three? Do we know what it is? Yeah, top three. Uh, top. All right. So Valentine's Day is coming up, and you want to get your girlfriend something, right? So these are the top three things. I'm my own girlfriend. You get your girlfriend. You just found out is cheating on you. Yeah. Right, Jay? D did I grow or did the camera shrink? That's what she said. Oh, okay. So what, what are we doing? Top three things you get your girlfriend who you just found out is cheating on you. Revenge porn. Revenge porn. <laughs> A subscription to the website with revenge porn. With her video on the front page. <laughs> I was say, and new featured video. Yes, new featured video. That's right, yeah. bitch. I paid the 20 bucks to make you featured. <laughs> ah. Congratulations, you're famous. Um, oh, here, here's one. How about how about a box of chocolates filled with live cockroaches? I was thinking just all the chocolates are just already squished, so you know which ones they were. You know when you have the variety. That box sounds like a like, favor hey. rather than something you're doing. Well, no, because you already ate the good ones. Still like, not that vindictive. Well, Maybe they like those. Well, how about They're you like, just leave the ones you know she hates? <laughs> Take that! Yeah. Uh, or, sure. There are no dumb answers here, except for that one. All right. Hey, I'm throwing out ideas. All uh, right. Yeah. Uh, how about how about you get her those can of fake snakes, except the real, real snakes? snakes. <laughs> wow, she really pissed you off, dude. I got no. Well, hey. Well, you know. She happens to get bitten by a. Burmese python, that's her problem. <laughs> that seems like a problem for you, not yeah, me. Yeah, this seems like a you problem. Now, I don't know if it would be like, well, I, I guess it could. If you go out and just get like a receipt for a really expensive piece of jewelry that you're going to supposedly give to her and you just give her the receipt and be like, this could have been yours, bitch. But you wanted to break up with me, so guess what? Yeah, you just had to buy the jewelry anyway, so yeah. you, man? No, because you buy it, you get the receipt, and then you just hand it right back to him. It's like, okay, return. Give me a separate receipt. Dick. Well, it could be a yeah. but she cheated on you, so That's fuck her. That's true. Um, I would say an envelope full of glitter. <laughs> a glitter bomb? A glitter bomb. Because <laughs> really, honestly, someone sent me a Christmas card that had glitter on the front of it. And I, I got around to cleaning my desk and throwing that out like two, three weeks ago. I am still finding red <laughs> glitter everywhere. And it was glued to the front of the card. It's not like it was like all over the place, but you're like, oh, red flex, what the fudge? <laughs> you know? It's like, did you go to a strip club? I don't think so. 
Maybe I did. Maybe I did. I, I don't know. Yep. Hold on. Oh, did they redo Facebook again? Damn it. What? Zuckerberg, just leave it alone. Oh. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. What else to get? Now, we're, we're assuming in this that she, that you broke up with her, <coughs> correct? Or or this is going to be the impetus to do so. Oh, okay. Pretty Either sure way. if you give her a live Burmese python in a can, that's, that's a pretty clear indication that you're trying to commit murder and <laughs> that maybe you're not the best best couple together anymore. Well, you can just give her a severed finger. <laughs> Who's? Whatever. You know, the one you got it off of eBay, what? You can find anything on eBay. I'm sure you can. You can find plutonium on eBay. Yes, you can. See? No, you can't. Actually, uh, Craigslist. Yeah, Craigslist. There you go. On Am on Amazon. Does anyone have a nuclear reactor on Craigslist? Um, <laughs> what's that? I think on Amazon you can. Yeah, I'm probably yes. Because I think go. I saw the reviews for it. It's true. Look it up. Right. Let's see. What else to get your girlfriend that you just found Ten out? Ten cats. <laughs> like Live. really long hair ones. Just. Ten cats. <laughs> Just doesn't even matter. Well, they know because it's like all of a sudden you can make your girlfriend the cat lady. Wait, let me up the ante, Lil. Ten cats completely jacked up on catnip. Sure. Or just get the real freaky ones from the shelter. On catnip. On catnip, yes. Because nothing like a cat on crack. Because if you're going for revenge, not only is your not only is she now the cat lady. But she's also the crazy cat lady. <laughs> Phenomenal. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. Yes. Because if I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it good. I. That's what she said. I no, you probably wouldn't have broken over. No, no, no. She probably wouldn't have cheated. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. Well, there you go. Well, well. Hmm. Um. To get the girl that just broke up with you. I got nothing. That's well, because we both haven't had girlfriends in quite yeah. some time. So. so I'm going to leave that to you. I'm going to read a news story while you're thinking of that. Hey, speaking about Valentine's Day, Fifty Shades of Grey, Grey uh, hits theaters today. But fans of the sexy books will be thrilled to hear there's already two more movies in the works. PerezHilton.com reports director Sam Taylor Johnson broke the good news, I guess. Good news. Uh, good news, everyone. At a premiere in New York City, and we can look forward to Fifty Shades Darker and... Fifty Shades Freed on the big screen. They say it's actually like a good book. I mean, it's not just yeah. porn. I don't believe them. Sure. Uh, by the way, speaking of, uh, there was a poll. Uh, Woman's Day uh, magazine asked, uh, what do you want most for this Valentine's Day? 11% uh, said a box of chocolates. 13% said red roses. 20% said diamond earrings. And 56% said a love letter. Aw, but they mean diamonds. Pretty much. So 56% of people are liars. Um, so, uh, oh, by the way, a new survey by the It's Just Lunch people indicate lingerie is pretty much the last thing women want to receive for Valentine's Day. I know, get her lingerie! Uh, there you go. <laughs> get her a vacuum. A vacuum. Coming in behind flowers, jewelry, chocolate, and even a simple card. And as far as sex and lingerie go this Valentine's Day, women are mostly interested in it within the context of the Fifty Shades of Grey premiere. Survey also shows that one third of both men and women said they felt indifferent about Valentine's Day, with another 17% saying it makes them miserable or stressed or dreadful. Yet over 70% of those same men and women expect to spend Valentine's Day with someone if they've been on four or more dates. And one sobering note for couples 10% of men and 5% of women say they've either broken up with someone or thought about breaking up to avoid the stress of Valentine's Day. 19% of singles report being dumped before Valentine's Day. Yes. There you go. you have any other thoughts on our top three? I'm inquiring with the interwebs to see what they recommend. Okay, well, speaking of Valentine's Day, Baskin Robbins is making a conversation heart ice cream cakes for Valentine's Day. So now you... Why the freak did you buy me? Yeah, that will be the conversation. So now you can have an ice cream cake that tastes like shit. Uh, the company says you can pre-order uh, a cake for that special summon with one of three messages. Love you, kiss me, or be mine. Not bite my shiny metal ass, no. Uh, the company is also rolling out a special Love Potion number 31, Flavor of the Month, as well. Um, by the way, did you hear about uh, the uh, giant Powerball uh, drawing where yeah, three we people didn't won win, it? Yeah, so I don't care. Yeah, well, you didn't win it. Uh, but it was the uh, 
Third largest uh, jackpot. Actually, no. It's larger than that. I don't know how large it was. It's big. It's a big jackpot. Um, you're more likely to get stuck on a tarmac for two hours or more than to win the Powerball lottery. Try uh, uh, one in 964. At least that's according to the report from the Bureau of Transportation T Statistics. Here's the odds for comparison. Do you want to guess what the odds of winning Powerball are? Probably one in 100-something... 170 something million. 175.2 million. Yeah. How about dying in an amusement park accident? Probably about a third of that. One, One in 72 million. It's pretty good. How about dying in a shark attack? <laughs> Probably still better than winning the lottery. What do you think? Uh, dying in a shark attack or just being dying attacked? in a yeah. shark attack? I'd say about one in a buck and a quarter. 125 mil. No, a lot less than that, actually. Really? Yeah. Hundred. Do these odds change if you don't actually, you know, I don't know, go to amusement parks or play the lottery? Or swim with sharks in the lottery at the amusement park? Um, like 25 million? Less. 10 million? Less. Five? Less. This is it in the millions? One, p or one in 3.1 million. No kidding. So just remember, the next time you go swimming, you have right. one out of 3.1 million chance of getting eaten by a shark. Ooh, here's one. Enjoy that. How about dying from a flesh-devouring bacteria? Third world or first world? I don't know. Okay. Let's go for, like, the one in five million. One in a million. Huh. And that's disconcerting. Struck by lightning. One in 15? Uh, one in 700,000. Having... I see a trend. Having an eleventh toe. An eleventh toe. An eleventh toe. One in half a million. One in five hundred. One in five hundred. So remember, if you and your four hundred ninety-nine best friends are around there, and they don't have an eleventh toe, it's probably you. Um, how about this one, Jay? Being audited by the IRS. I don't have to worry <laughs> about that, but I'm sure. Like one in two hundred fifty. 175. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I really don't see me having yeah. to worry about that. So I got a few yeah. more for our top three. Go on. Having a yard sale with all of her stuff she left Ooh, at your house. Ooh, that's brutal. Um, let's see. What else did I just magically think of uh, my own? Yes. Uh, selling her on eBay. <laughs> Put her on eBay and just sell her. Be like, nope. Okay. Might be something about human trafficking, but I like it. I like it. Yep. Keep going. Not that really, is all. Not, not really sure how you do this, but sell her car for a dollar. On eBay. Sure. Fuck it. Yeah, sell buy anything. it now for a dollar. <laughs> Legally binding. Here you go. Must pick up today. Must pick up today. Yeah. I will forge, I mean, sign off. Yeah. On, there you uh, go. Yeah. The. Sure. Uh, all right. Well, there you go. Um, so, we want to come up with our top three out of that? Well, sure, because we came up with practically nothing. What? Well, then it should be really easy to come up with top three, then. All right, right? Well, I'll keep, well, you keep polling the interwebs, and I'll keep going here. <laughs> Poll. <laughs> By the way, uh, let's show uh, President's Day coming up this uh, Monday. Uh, let's show one of our greatest presidents some love. His Ooh. birthday is the 12th, so we've just got time to mention it today. Wait, this already passed. God damn it. Did you know, well, Abe Lincoln's birthday has passed, so screw it. Did you know Abe grew a beard for the 1860 presidential campaign after a little girl named Grace Bedell wrote him a letter <laughs> telling him that all the ladies like whiskers and they teased their husbands to vote for him. So he became the first president to have a beard. Sorry. I just read uh, some. Yeah. There you go. Oh, and uh, speaking of uh, Valentine's Day, uh, these are the most expensive lo love songs. Uh, Mighty John Marshall, who buys old vinyl records for collectors at moneymusic.com, sent a list of the top 10 most expensive records with love in their title that are worth $100 or more for Valentine's Day. A dollar. So, there's the 1964 Redbird LP Dixie Cups Chapel of Love. How much do you think that's worth? A dollar. 100 bucks. Oh. The 1966 Motown 45 Supremes. Uh, you Can't Hurry Love with the picture sleeve for? No, you just have to wait. $125. Oh. 1967 the Beatles, All You Need Is Love, with picture sleeves. $175. $150. Damn it. Yardbirds, For Your Love, 1965. 150 200 Damn it. 
These are going up in value, by the oh. way. Buddy Holly, It's So Easy to Fall in Love. A million dollars. 400. Oh. Beatles, Love Me Do, with picture sleeve. $750. 500. Damn it. Phil Phillips, Sea of Love. $505. 750. Fuck. Elvis Presley, Burning Love, gray RCA label. Oh, if it's gray, that means it's got to be at least $751. 1000 Damn it all. Jerry Butler, For Your Precious Love. 1500 5000 God. Bloody and hell. the 1966 Soul 45 Frank Wilson, Do I Love You? $10,000. $40,000. Check your record collections, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. You still have them? So. Yes. Some more revenge things. Yes. Glue their door shut. <laughs> That's. <laughs> House, car, screw it. Just glue it shut. Just everything glue it shut. That's pretty good. Uh, another one. Steal their pet. Like, and do what with it, though? Like, just, just steal it. Okay. Just be like, oh, I love my dog Do you so have my much, dog? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no. No, that's my dog. Um, you don't have a dog. Don't I? Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, pretend that you're going to kiss him, then slap him. That's, uh, sure. Prank call him. All right. Let's see. Pretend you forgive them. Go somewhere with them like a park with no one around and then leave them there. All right. Uh, prank call them. Yep. <laughs> Date their sibling. Oh. Uh, I thought you were her. Date their best friend. All right. Uh, just become absolutely overwhelmingly, like, completely ridiculously happy with your next boyfriend and girlfriend to show that you're just... Sure. That might be like, a little creepy for your new love interest, but all right. Fill their gas tank with prune juice. I'm sure that's probably not good for probably the fuel not. Injectors. That will not keep the car regular. Let's see. Hmm. No. Uh, there's a thousand of these, by the way. So it's going to take me a minute to go. Through sure. Some. Hey, by the way, uh, there's one enterprising Girl Scout in San Francisco. She is set this up, the one I think it is? She oh, set I up shop outside a cannabis yes. dispensary last year, and now she's at it again. Danielle Lee is making a killing peddling Thin Mints and Dozy Dose outside the Green Cross Marijuana Shop on Mission Street. Danielle says she sold 560 boxes of cookies in the first four days alone, and she admits she wouldn't have sold so many if it weren't for her prime location. It's legal to sell cannabis in San Francisco for certain medical conditions. Like the munchies. Right. Yeah. Swap the contents of their wardrobe and their freezer. <laughs> so <laughs> take all their pants and shirts, <coughs> put it in the freezer, uh -huh. take everything in the freezer, and put it in their drawers. Well, there you go. All right. Wash their dirty PlayStation. Hey, by the way, Rosie O'Donnell's no longer on the view. Hey, less sucking. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, did you know today is... Friday the 13th. 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 Are you scared of today? Do you have Triscodecophobia? Do you? Do you? I hate Triscuits. Do you? I hate Triscuits. Well, uh, yes. Fear of the 13th is Triscodecophobia, but fear of Friday the 13th is called Periscavidecatriophobia. As well That's what as I thought it was. Frigatriscodecophobia. Others might call it stupid. <laughs> yes. 13 has always had a tainted history, but some believe Friday the 13th was spum from the Christian story. But the Last Supper, attended by 13 people, Christ and his 12 disciples, he was crucified the next day of Friday, or so the story goes. Interestingly, 13 is considered good luck in Italy, home of the Roman Catholic Church, separated from the rest of Christianity due to the conflicting political and theological disagreements. Friday is also considered sacred by both Norse traditions and Muslims, which are considered enemies to Christianity. Uh, many hotels and office buildings have no 13th floor, and many hospitals have no room 13. And the next time you're at the airport, see if you can find gate 13. Not often. Hmm. Use a toothbrush to clean the toilet. Their and then put it back. Yes. Is that a piece of poo in my, uh... No. No, it's not. No, that was that spinach you had dealing with. Yes, yes. Cut the crotches out of all their pants. What if they're already all crotchless pants? Then they were a kinky bitch to begin with. Yes. You trying to tell me something? Yes. Okay. No. No. 
Right. By the way, <laughs> what? Sign them up for a gay porn magazine and have it shipped to their house. <laughs> uh, no, have it shipped to their parents' house under their name. Oh, there you go. Wow. I like ah, that. That's, that's, uh, that's pretty good. That's, uh, yeah. Make a fake social networking account under their name and post really fucked up stuff. Yep. That's mean and evil. There you go. That's pretty, that is pretty, pretty bad. Hey, Valentine's Day cards. Do you think men or women buy more Valentine's Day cards? I bet women because they're more sentimental. Yes. Survey, uh, survey by card maker American Greeting finds 85% of the Valentine's Day cards purchased every year are purchased by women. By what was comparison, the 85. <whistles> by comparison, most men consider buying Valentine's Day cards in quote ordeal. While women say they preferred sending and receiving the more traditional hearts and flowers type verse, uh, type Valentine's Day cards, both men and women say they like humorous cards. There you go. Uh, by the way, February 14th is the second largest greeting card holiday after Christmas. About 163 million cards are exchanged, not counting those packaged Valentines uh, exchanged by school kids. Uh, you want gifts? About a third by jewelry. Most popular gift, 6 and 10 by chocolate. And flowers, the two weeks preceding Valentine's Day, account for nearly 13% of forced sales each year. It comes out to nearly $40 million for that three-week period. A spending increase of over 300% more for flowers than we spent from the entire month of January. Uh, then again, lots of vendors jack up prices by as much as 90%, since I know people will pay on Valentine's Day. This is evil. Dozens of red ro- roses will cost you anywhere from $50 to $90 in some parts of the country. F that, first of all. What? By a male and a female mouse... And set it loose in their house. That is evil. That is yeah. very evil. Yes. Uh, there you go. Uh, hey, by the way, uh, is it today or tomorrow? No, today is the annual date for the uh, annual annual Cupid's Undie Run in 38 cities across the U.S. The run, which is done, as you might imagine, in your best underwear, is usually around a mile long jog to raise money for the Children's Tumor Foundation. Last year's run raised $2.8 million in donations. There are prizes as well for runners who can participate as an individual or team. There you go. Yes? Hack their cell phone uh-huh. and send a text out to everybody in their contact list telling them what he did or she did. That's, that's brutal. That is brutal. I like it. By the way, if all the Fifty Shades of Grey hype has you uh, <clears throat> inspired for this Valentine's Day, but you're just not credit- ready to go all out in the infamous Red Room, InStyle says there are ways to just add a hint of hardcore to your wardrobe to get you in the mood for love or other indoor sports. Uh, see, there's brass handcuff bracelets by designer Jennifer Fisher that look like a regular set of bangles, but they're actually handcuffs with um, multiple uses. There's more a subtle hint of your own uh, Shades of Grey you can uh, paint on. One of OPI's six limited edition nail polishes inspired by the movie. See almost any black leather clothing and of course stiletto heels really? putting this. Really? Th- this, this is what's going on in the control room. While we're doing a show. Medical humor is occurring. It's a very humorous card. That is a humorous card. This should really be the inside of a card. It's like, the outside should say, I know you like funny cards. So I found, so I found this humorous. <laughs> Rob gets a, uh, gives wow. a standing ovation. All right. Oh, man. You want to keep it creepy, you tape like an actual, like, you know, chicken humorous in there or something. Just have it pasted in there with, like, little cutout letters from magazines. <laughs> I know you like funny things, so give There's me a There's a second page of the card, by the way, I'm watching you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Found this humorous in my basement. This. <laughs> Nope, not so top three right, things anyways. to give your ex you yes um, just found out the humorous of their of their cheating lover. I already typed it. You're too late. Oh, all right, fine. 
Well, you do that. I'm out of news stories. I've got nothing else. You have 15 minutes to fill. Think of stuff. Or we can just watch you sleep for a while. I mean, it's kind of well, creepy. Well, that's a little creepy. Yeah. But at least you're not in bed at your house doing it. Why would there be cameras there? Is there something you want to tell me? Because it's your house, so oh. it's expected. Well, that's true. Hmm. Wait, what? Just saying. That's also creepy. <laughs> it's creepy even for me. <laughs> and Which that's is saying, saying something. something, yeah. Get out of my head! Ah, you like it, it's roomy. Um, hello, hello, hello. Uh, anyways, uh, I might as well promo everything while we're thinking of it. Because we're going to is our website. If you want to check us out on Facebook... Go to our Facebook page. How about that? Facebook.com slash NSLS dot. Wait, no, not dot. Just NSLS TV. Hmm. Or Twitter.com slash NSLS TV. Don't bother because Pat does nothing with it. No. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to change the password and just. There you go. <laughs> or you can go to our YouTube page at YouTube.com slash NSLS TV. Or you can email us at nslstv at gmail.com. When was the last time you actually updated YouTube? Uh, recently. I have three episodes that are ready to post right now. They're already uploaded. I just got to put in titles and stuff. We'll get on it. All right. Oh, not now. I don't care. Oh, okay. The well, show's already stalled with 14 minutes to go, so I feel like a Carol Moore episode all of a sudden. <laughs> Sorry, just hacking up along over here. Yeah, whatever. Uh, That's a very nice... Well, let's work on the top three. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's, we do have to finish that out. So, <laughs> number one... And by finish, I mean start. Yes, by number one... Well, what do we do for number one? Um, I think... I, buy your Amazon's radio sticks. Buy your Amazon's <laughs> radio sticks? Yes, that. No, uh, buy your Zune. Uh, here's, here's outdated technology that never caught on. Thanks, Bill Gates. Yeah, I would. Um, I'm thinking a horse head in bed. No, I'm going. I'm going to go with get them a subscription under their name to a gay porn magazine that gets delivered to their parents' house for number one. Gay. I'm just porn saying. That's one. It's legal. Two. Magazine. That's evil. <laughs> you got that right. So legal and evil. Those are probably the two the two qualifiers we should do for this list. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, the brother comes running down. How did you know? <laughs> I'm so happy I can come out now. There you go. Hey, let's let's uh, cut that off as a quote. All right. Anyways, um, let's see what else. I do. I did like the gluing all the doors shut. <laughs> that was funny. That was that was pretty good. How about glue everything down in in their house or apartment? Too much glue. Too much glue. Are, are you sure? There's nothing such thing as too much glue. Ten cats? I like stealing their pet. It's just evil enough. All right. And it'll only give you minimum jail time. Only minimum jail time. That is true. It's a, it's a larceny. It's a larceny six, really. Okay. I'm glad. What, what's the value of a I'm cat? I'm glad you have the exact details of this one. I've never thought about it. All right. All right. Where, where's my cat, by the way? Um, Door shut. All right, stealing stealing their pet. Uh, Steal their pet. Or are we down to the honorable mentions? We are. Okay, what do we what do we do for honorable mentions? Go home. Um, go home. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, fake Facebook account. Fake Facebook account. Yep. And hire Pat to go outside and sing in front of their house. Yes, Pat in front of their house. Hmm. Yes, that sounds like I like that. Have Pat sing the national anthem for three hours. In front of the, it's got to be the national anthem. So much like when you go to YouTube, it's like... Oh, oh say, can you see? Yeah, you go on YouTube and you have... Like, oh, wait, it's Pat. Oh, say, can you see? What, you just hit puberty? I mean, what? Well, that's Pat singing. Oh, okay. Yeah. It basically sounds like a dying whale. <laughs> yeah, I'm going through puberty. <laughs> Under their name... Yeah. yeah, it's like when you go on YouTube and it's like, oh, I want to hear this, and it's like, here's a ten-hour loop of it, and you're like, why? 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 I, I, I just want to hear it once. Really don't need that. There was. <laughs> you live nine cat out of this. Yeah. There are a couple cool things though that have like ten-hour uh -huh. loops, like Star Trek fans, uh -huh. the Enterprise, like that ambient engine sound. Some would call that cool. Some would call that what? 
Yeah. So for those of you who call it cool, it's just 10 hours of the ambient Enterprise engine sound. Yes. You just put it in the background like... There you go. Sure. It's true. Let it roam. Uh, <laughs> let's see. All right. And... So have, are you ready for more snow this Saturday? Are we going to get more snow tomorrow? Three to six. Are we really? Tomorrow night into Sunday. Oh, because God, it's not why? hard enough pulling out of my driveway as it is. Why? So why not? Let's add six more inches of... <laughs> Global warming states that F this, let's make it three. Yeah, that's, that's just, uh, please, please, please make it stop. It's just, duh, 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 uh, duh. Uh. All right, let's take a look at the weather forecast for tomorrow because I know we've got nothing else to fill in another 10 so minutes. So wait, can we have Pat dress up in a costume? Yes, yes, we could. Winter Storm Faith, uh, it's look. Uh, what a winter N- storm! NBC. Winter storm Saturday the fifteenth. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Snow will uh, fly Saturday afternoon. Be light snow. It'll become steadier during the afternoon. Uh, it'll end by early Sunday afternoon. Accumulations will be up to ten inches in eastern Connecticut, as little as three inches in western portions of the state. Uh, greater Hartford area will see four to eight inches. By the way, it'll be windy. Really, really freaking windy. Gusts of 50 miles an hour are possible. So lots of drifting could be blizzard conditions. I do that in my car. Yes. Drifting Mm. in blizzard conditions? (laughs) Yes. There you go. Uh, Let's see. What else is new? Uh, Video games? There's really nothing good coming out. What about technology? Mortal Mortal Kombat X. Yeah. Anything fun technology-wise coming out? No? That we can afford or that we can't afford? We can't there are afford. a ton of digital cameras coming out. It Canon's like, got a ton of different models. They just came out with this fifty me- like this these 50 megapixel models. I like, told you about that last week and you were like, bleh. I know, I'm it. still bad. I'm not going to buy them, but bleh. <laughs> bleh, bleh. What, What's the one you're waiting for? The 7D? 5D Mark, the 5D 5D Mark, Mark 4. 4 I'm waiting for the 7D August. Mark 2 that I can't afford. It's already out. I know, but I still can't afford it. Oh, well. Wait, you just got your tax refund for ninety thousand dollars. It was one hundred and forty thousand dollars. Whatever. First of all. And I have to pay off mine and my. It was one hundred twenty a while ago. If you roll back the date, but I put in a really, really. Fast, it was a good CD. It was in a CD. Yeah, it's not a, an A track, but it, a CD. It was a one day CD at one percent interest. So now I got twenty grand. Shut <laughs> up! Don't do the math. Just run with it. Sure. So now I have one hundred forty. Right. I don't know. That you know. That's the thing. There's. Uh, and you I bought the rest in scratch tickets. Here's the, <laughs> it's all in scratchies. Here's the thing that kills me is that usually there's like some sort of crazy technology that I'm like really looking forward to, like the next blah blah or the blah blah blah. blah. If you think about it, I don't. There's nothing really coming out or announced or about to be announced that's really that exciting. Like think of it, like game consoles, people get excited about that. There's no, they're already out. They're not going to have new ones for an age. Or exactly. Two. You got when, another when, five or seven years before. What's the next revolutionary? Like it, there's, I don't know. It's a little, well, it's a little disappointing because like we have like all the remember like the smartphone revolution and all that. Well, the revolution's here and it's it's kind of past. It's like all right, we we we've got to here right. And we had the revolution in like game consoles where we went from like. You know, shitty 32-bit to like, oh my god, it's a really good system. And then we had, you know, we went from these like really crappy like, you know, 8 millimeter cameras to like, oh, here's a GoPro and all that stuff. And we've gotten to this plateau where everything's like, everything is awesome. Well, there, there's a Nothing problem. else is new anymore. There, it's all iterations. There's a problem. They're just looking for the big money score. Yeah, they are. But here's the, here's the thing. Uh-huh. They've got this awesome technology out there. They just don't have anything to push it. And here's what I mean. Okay. You have the Xbox One. You have the PlayStation 4 that has all this hardware that's capable of doing all this stuff. Sure. But they don't have games to actually Mm. use it. Right. You have 4K Ultra HD 3D TVs. No cable companies have any 4K content. Netflix has next to no 4K. I mean, I have a 4K TV. Right. They're... Like eight things on Netflix that have four. But one of them is Ghostbusters. It's a, it's a movie from like eighty six. But one of them is Ghostbusters. How? You have to take the original film, digitize it, and then like exactly. upconvert the shit out of it. You, no, you don't have to upconvert the shit out of it. What is film natively? Uh, it's film. I mean, but what's the resolution of film? It, it's 
It depends on the ISO of the film and what generation the copy is and the size of the particle. It's Ghostbusters. It's Realist 80s. What were they using? Realistically, like if you say like total maximum resolution, around 8K. Really? Even way back then in the 80s? It depends on the ISO of the film and how small the particles were. Figure on that. the lowest end. 4K. It was actually 4K and yeah, they had to it's, dumb it's, it down? It's, it's apples to oranges though. Well, just trying to... Level the playing field. On the apples to oranges, you know, equivalents probably at least 4 to 8K, depending on the ISO of the film and the size of the particles on the film itself. But that, that's my point. Cable companies have no anything for 4K. Right. I mean, Cablevision used to have a 3D channel. I don't, do we still have... Do, not we. Do they still have it? The IO 3D? No. They used to. No. Well, I'm asking the ones who actually work here. They don't know. Don't it, it, it was like TV. one of the last 1900 channels. How's Do they still have TV? the 3D channel? Well, you know, they have 3D TV, so care. well, I do, but I just don't have optimum. What, what? Box, anyhow. What, what? Yeah, that. It was only $180,000. But my, my, my point to all this is where's the next big technology breakthrough? You're not going to get it. Ever? Don't Again? Ever? This is it? This is... My technology life is plateaued? For now. Because what the they, hell, they man? already have all this stuff and they don't even have stuff to actually push it to its limits. There's no game that's like, oh my god, look I at know, this. I know, but There's from so like much 2007 to like 2011, it was like, oh, technology everywhere. Yeah, so now and they now have it's the capability. Like from 2011 to 2015, it's like, uh, yeah. They have the capability, they just don't have anything to push it. Right. Which is the problem. It's like, okay, we got this stuff, we're ready. Give it to us. And everyone's like, yay, incrementally better. All right. Yeah, but everyone's like. By the way, you know what movie I'm kind of looking forward to this summer? The Lego movie. No. SpongeBob. Definitely no. Sponge Bill. Besides the point, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Not Bill Bob Fun Pants. <laughs> That's a different movie. That's a different movie. The Minions. I heard about it. I'm a little bit, a little bit. I gotta I still have to I'm watch the movie. I'm a little worried it's gonna memes. be like, you know, like Cars 2, Mater's Revenge or something like that. I'm worried it's gonna be a little you know, a little bit too much frosting, not enough cake. Uh, you have to get the Despicable Me movies for me. Yeah. So that way I can actually watch those where the minions. You've are. never seen Despicable Me? No. Or Despicable Me 2? You you had them for me. They're adorable. You 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 acquired it for me, and something bad happened. And I think the internet honestly, them. all right. Uh, so well, tell me, Jay. Points. It's that time of the show again. Thank thankfully for everyone. <laughs> what did you learn today? I learned that it's much harder to think of revenge things to do to your well, now when you're ex. not inherently evil. We think. No, because when you get broke, when you break up with someone because they cheated on you, uh -huh. you become inherently evil. Uh -huh. But unless it's actually happened to you, uh -huh. it's a lot harder to think about them. Yeah. Because you don't have that just internal built in revenge uh -huh. to just do bad things to people. Yep. So I learned that that's very hard. Nice. I learned I'm going to be living a lot of luxury for a while with my massive refund. Right until the feds come, sure. They're not going to come. Likely story. Well, there you go. You know what? Huge corporations get away with it. Mm -hmm. You think I can get away with one? Sure. I'm going to go America. 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 What'd you learn? Uh, I learned what is and what isn't humorous. I, le I learned that this is humorous. Ha! <laughs> you know what else is humorous? Your leg. I thought you were going to fart right there. You're going to give me that look where it's like, twitch, 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 twitch. Come on, come on. No. Oh, no, shit myself. Oh. Nope. Same. Those! The only thing preventing that is me sitting right now. Close the hatch. Yeah. <laughs> Slam the door shut. Seal it up. Missed any part of the show. You can watch the midnight replay. What time is it on? Midnight. This what? one was an all right one. On what and channel? This one. Oh. Press the info button on your remote. You'll figure it out. If this is midnight, you already missed it. You can watch it on YouTube.com slash NSLSTV. Facebook.com slash NSLSTV. We really have to figure out how to do a live stream. Yeah. We, we, didn't, we need a device to do it. Like a camera and the internet? Yes. If only such things existed. Uh, huh. If we can only get your laptop to work yeah. in under an hour, so we could actually just set it up with the camera and just point it at us and just live stream it. 
I need a new laptop. Are you actually gonna get your own personal new one? Yeah. You're gonna get a Surface Pro 3. I can't, I can't. So tablets is gonna replace your laptop. I can't spend money. I, I, I don't use it enough. I barely use my work laptop.